गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी हैव विद अस डॉक्टर रविंदर डिमरी सर गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू दिस प्लेटफॉर्म गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग एवरीबॉडी सर वी हैव दिस फ्रीक्वेंट क्वेरी फ्रॉम आवर स्टूडेंट्स दैट एज अ ऑर्थोपेडिक सर्जन व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज और यूजफुलनेस ऑफ गिविंग अ एमआरसीएस एग्जाम ओके सो टू आंसर दिस क्वेश्चन आई थिंक द फर्स्ट थिंग टू अंडरस्टैंड इज दैट uh how is the specialty training specialty training happens in uk so the basic thing in uk is that you start after your mbbs with a uh, foundation training which is for 2 years it is just like our internship but spread into 2 years you go into different specialty and you do that training for 2 years once you done foundation uh, training then you want to decide what career you want to uh, opt or what wh- what is your aspiration so the next is another 2 year of core surgical training and once you done your core surgical training then at the end of it you should have by then completed your mrcs and after completing your 2 year foundation 2 year core training and mrcs you are eligible to apply specialty training so since you have already done two year core training we call it st3 specialty training 3 the reason we call it some of the training not orthopedics uh, now some of the uh, training are run through training that mean they start with st1 and st2 which is equivalent to your core training 1 and 2 but in orthopedics uh, there is no run through after ct2 the core training 2 you have to apply for st3 and for that the prerequisite is that you have to have your mrcs two year foundation and two year core training so specialty trainings like a post graduation course it's it's a it's a combina- combination of uh, from indian point of view the easiest way to understand is this combination of your ms and the senior residency so three year of ms and three year of senior residency club together into six year and that run through from st3 to s38 so those 6 years are of specialty training you do uh, in orthopedics and end of that specialty training st8 you should have then completed your frcs trauma and orthopedics so mrcs is a prerequisite for entering into st and when you complete your st training specialty training you should have done your frcs trauma and orthopedics that's your exit exam Okay. once you have done your ed- exit exam and you have completed successfully your uh, specialty training uh, up to st8 then you are eligible to become a consultant that mean first you have to apply to gmc to get yourself registered into speci- specialist register and that route is cct the complete completion of certification of training that's how it is done in uk okay so uh, what i understand is that uh, after mbbs it's like a code uh, co- uh, foundation course with just like a uh, our internship yes, and then there is which is spread over 2 years, years yeah. and then there is a foundation course which may be surgical branch or uh, non surgical branch not foundation core course sorry core, core. course uh, yeah. which is separate for surgical Sorry. and non surgical branches that's right yeah and after that you uh, you get uh, you are eligible if you have a mrcs Uh, if you have cleared your mrcs you become eligible for the post graduation training that is the st training st training and that is a, a total up to st8 in orthopedics so 6 years 6 year and now uh, although theoretically after st8 and getting yourself into uh, specialty register you are eligible to become orthopedic consultant but the way the specialization is going on hardly you will get a general orthopedics post uh, eligible so in uk. Mo- in uk so most of time you will have to then after completing post cct it is called you will have to have a uh, a, a fellowship mm. so which fellowship is your sub specialty fellowship which could be anything into uh, all the pediatrics hand uh, shoulder elbow uh arthroplasty uh, trauma so all, all uh, spinal surgery so you will have to go have a fellowship 
and once you completed your uh, cct with the uh, with fellowship then you are eligible to apply for a, uh, a consultant post because consultant post nowadays not advertise at a general orthopedic surgeon normally it's applied as a spinal surgeon revision hip surgeon trauma surgeon hand surgeon so that's how it works in uk uh, your question was uh, usefulness usefulness of for overseas training Yes. of mrcs exam MRC. for a orthopedic surgeon oh, no. so it all depends on what your goal is from uh, when you, if you want to come to uk uh, what is your goal uh, if you just want an mrcs qualification that can be done uh, i understand from india and that if you want to practice in india then there's nothing else you need to do but if you want to work in uk you have to decide what you want to do there are three things uh, a, a, a indian graduate or a foreign graduate would like to do in uk a he become want to become a consultant uh, b he want to work there but but happy to work as a non consultant so there are a number of non consultant post also and c he want to just to get a training for few year and come back and get the experience of that that he can get either working as a non consultant or non training post or apply for a proper fellowship post which is for short term maybe for one year two year but that is not leading you into your st8 or uh, further uh, cct becoming a consultant post so depending on what your aim is the the advantage of mrcs is that it is advantage in all three uh, aspiration if you want to become a consultant then obviously uh you will have to prove that you have done your core training and mrcs uh and if you done your mrcs that's advantage core training you can prove that whatever you done from india uh, two year of surgical uh, specialty that can be equivalent to your core training and then you'll have to prove that you have done some specialty training uh, either you've done that in uk or you done already from here so that's advantage if you want to become a consultant so uh, in that case you will have your mrcs you will have some core training you can especially apply for a specialist training directly or you can prove your uh, equivalence and then apply for a specialist registrar if you want to work as a non training uh, consultant then the advantage of mrcs is that uh, you have proven to uh, uk people that you you have got a qualification which is recognized by uk and so at least you are at level of core training 2 and mrcs so you you are at at least a level of uh, entering into st training so that's that that's a big advantage for fellowship uh, and for non training you don't require it but it's advantages because if you're doing a fellowship again the same thing that you have proven that you have qualified uh, as level of Uh, exit of core training uh, and then you can get into fellowship so the, there are always advantages if you got your mrcs so mrcs is advantages if you want to work in uk at any level at if any. you want to work as a in a fellowship and if you work, want to work in a non training job non uh, consultant job or if you want to get into the system and become a consultant mrcs would be useful for all the three yes i think it's always in 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 remote chance theoretically you may say that i can prove equivalence of this but it will be very difficult so best is to get your mrcs and then at least you have proven your qualification up to level of your ct2 so if we have to get into a, the uh, their system of specialty training if we have given if we have done our ms here mm -hmm. so then we can we don't need to do a core training and the foundation course Yes. Then straight away give a MRCS uh -huh. and try and get into the specialty training. You can, you can, you can go through that route. And if you have given just the MBBS, we have to do all the core. Yeah, and then you'll have to apply the foundation. If you done say one year internship here, mm. and then you go straight away, then you will get uh, it's called foundation year one. So we we call it FY FY one mm. and FY two. Mm. then you will app apply for fy2 jobs okay and then uh, you do one more fy2 and then do your ct1 and ct2 and then you go to specialty training okay having said that uh, gmc can recognize your training if you can prove that you done equivalence here but will be, it will be difficult to prove uh, if you have no mrcs qualification 
those are slightly different route than uh, the usual CCT route, they call Caesar route or Article 14 route, where you have to prove all your logbook and experience and everything and then say that my qualification is exactly uh, similar to uh, what you do in UK and so in equivalence criteria you want to apply in facility training. But even in that, if you have got your uh, MS from here and MRCS, though, they will recognize that uh, equivalence to at least minimum equivalence to your CT2 and MRCS done. Thank you, sir. I think uh, this was a very useful information given by you. So for all the students who are seeking to uh, give a MRCS exam, MRCS would be useful if you are going to UK for a fellowship or for some experience or to get into their specialty training. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Hope this was useful.